Vikings 2019 first round pick Garrett Bradbury joins us here in TCO Studios. Garrett, welcome to Minnesota. Congrats on being a Viking. Thank you. Thank you. Super happy to be here. How does, um, how does it feel to know where you're going to be? Because since your last game at NC State, you've gone through this pre-draft process and yeah. you don't know where you're going to go. Yeah. Now you know where you're going to go. It's, it's going to be Minnesota. How does that feel? Amazing. Um, like you said, it was like a four-month job interview mm -hmm. and you're just you're going through it, working hard, hoping to find a team that will that, take you, that wants you. Um, so happy to be here in Minnesota. Happy to just get back to football. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of this four months is just trying to figure out where you're going to go um, and getting back into football. I mean, that's why we're here. So, No more short shuttles and three cone drills and no. bench press competitions. 40 yard dash. Yeah. You're back done to with football. All that, right? Back to football. 10 yard splits. We yeah. don't need to worry about any of those anymore, right? No. No. Yeah, and uh, someone like you, your, your profile, you very much look forward to that, and you probably look forward to getting back out with your new, te your new teammates yeah. rather than just working out individually. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's, that's why you play football. I mean, it's, I think it's the ultimate team game. Yeah. So definitely excited to, to meet all the, all the current Vikings um, and then this year's draft class, the rest of the guys that, that are going to be chosen. Um, just getting and working out with the guys. Um, I mean, you can't – I think a locker room so special. Um, yeah offensive line especially uh, so just excited to meet all of them and get to work with them I don't want to put you on the spot and start asking you personnel questions but and I know your plate was full at NC State with yeah. school and your own team but any perceptions or observations about this offense that you're going to join with Kirk Cousins and yeah. your offensive line teammates Diggs and Thielen Dalvin Cook Dalvin Cook by the way was very excited that we drafted you. yeah I don't know if you saw that yeah that's how that. that was awesome yeah um, definitely a ton of weapons um, exciting offense um, just talked to the coaches and they kind of broke it down. Sounds like an unbelievable system. Uh, seems like a really good fit. Uh, so I'm just, I'm so excited. Just yeah. ready, to, ready to play football again. One, one thing that we're not too concerned about right now, but you're probably going to get asked quite a bit is where are you going to play? Who's going to go where? How, how did you handle that question in the pre-draft process? Because I'm sure teams asked you that in their meetings too. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a football player. Yeah. Um, I'm an offensive lineman and whatever position I don't think they'll play me at tackle, but um, whatever position they want me to play me at, I'm just I'm here to help the Vikings win games. Well, I, I saw a clip. It looks like you got pretty good hands. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw a clip of you on a jet ski. Yep. I mean, we, we drafted a tackle last year who people said could catch Brian O'Neill. He yep. has some catches in college. I mean, maybe you have one too. I mean, you can see it right there. Look at that. Yep, there it is um, at the lake. Uh huh. That was our second try, actually. So. Oh yep. wow, you're an honest guy too. Second try. Most people wouldn't admit that. Yep, second try. Yeah. And got it, and we were done for, for right. the day. I, I don't know if that's going to be a good idea to do that anymore. Yeah, you probably know? won't. Probably won't be doing it anymore. But okay. did it once, got the video, so we're good. Cool. All right. We're good. The scene in Nashville was crazy. Um, you know, we were there covering it. Yeah. And uh, but you were not there. You decided yeah. to do something else. And I'd like to know what the scene was like wherever you were. What were you doing? Yeah. Who was there? So I was at home, uh, Lake Wiley, South Carolina. I was with my family, um, a few friends and a few of my friends' families. Just a bunch of people that I loved that helped get me where I was. My, my college O-line coach was there with his wife. Uh, my high school head coach and his family. Just, I mean, it's, it's not, the moment wasn't, it wasn't mine. It was all of theirs too. Because uh, they did so much to help me get where I am. And so I wanted to share that with them and just had a good night relaxed, um, was at the lake, which is always nice. Mm -hmm. um, and so just had a good night. Name was called and it was just, I mean, it was the greatest feeling ever. So. We, got, we got some lakes around here if you like to, if you yeah, like to be on lakes. Yeah, a few can, thousand, a yeah, few we, thousand. We can help you with that. Cool, yeah. cool. All right, well, we can take care of that stuff later. Up next for you though is rookie minicamp. Yep. So last question for you, um, what do you want your new teammates to know about you? What are you looking to show at rookie minicamp and the off season program? Just, I'm a hard worker, I'm a competitor. I'm gonna come in. Um, and just be ready to work, ready to play football, uh, and help this team win games. So. All right, congrats, man. You made Thank it to you. the NFL. You're a Viking. We're happy to have you. Super happy to be here. Appreciate it.